something has changed on this channel. If you're following this channel for a while, something has changed. I used to make a lot of videos on Bitcoin and on Ethereum and on my general approach to the markets. What's my strategy in investing in crypto? Now, recently, this has changed. One and a half months ago, roughly, I started to publish way more altcoin videos. And that's got a reason. And the reason has something to do with this chart over here. This is the stablecoin market cap. This is a longer term chart starting in 2022. And the vertical line over here is when Terra Luna imploded, when the UST stablecoin depacked and became worthless. Now we are specifically seeing in this chart the market cap of DAI, of USDC, of USDT, and of BUSD combined. And this is a chart with relatively low volatility. It's going either constantly down or it's going constantly up. And on the 1st of October, the turnaround started. Now, how can this be interpreted? When nobody wants to have anything to do with crypto, the market is shrinking. People take their money out, people redeem their stable coins, for regular fiat. Now, when people get risk on again, they deploy their fiat. They send their fiat currency to the centralized exchange that then turns around, goes, for example, to Tether that then issues the USDT. I think the market has matured though. In the early days, before the anchor protocol collapse, before UST went to zero, people did hold stable coins over the long term because you got a nice return on it. 20% for Anchor, and because the risks weren't that visible to the masses. This has changed. I believe that every single dollar that now gets into stable coins isn't used for long-term holding, it's used to time the altcoin market. The main problem with crypto YouTube is conflict of interest. Too many YouTubers shill garbage, promote garbage, and fill up their pockets in the background not this channel. Instead, there's simply the offer where I share my skills, my perspectives to you, and where I also share direct access to me where you can ask me any questions. Feel free to check it out. The premium membership link is down below. When you're holding Bitcoin or you're holding Ethereum, you're not that much interested in the price movements. A lot of people simply just dollar cost average into the asset. They think long term it will appreciate and only if it gets really hyped, then they might sell. That's different to altcoins. Altcoins change. The flavor of the day changes. A popular altcoin five years ago is not popular today anymore. People simply just ride the waves. So whenever they've got an altcoin and it pumps up and they take profit, they probably convert it back into stablecoin. So seeing the stablecoin market cap continuously increasing seems to map towards more altcoin speculation. The more stablecoins there are around, the more altcoins get traded. And so it's completely rational to look at the altcoin market in more depth now. I do believe altcoins are likely going to continue to rise. I do believe since this is such a low volatility chart that the likelihood of more green is higher than the likelihood of red. The market is finally starting to expand again. Now let's have a look at another chart and let's especially take in mind this 1st of October, where the stablecoin market cap turned around. This vertical line here is the 1st of October. Now, what we see here is the altcoin dominance. So we look at all the volatile altcoins, we remove the stablecoins from it, and we take that as a fraction of all of crypto. So this is not Bitcoin dominance. This is not Ethereum dominance. This is the altcoin market as a whole the altcoin dominance. And what can we see? We can see an appreciation. There is volatility, but altcoins tend to rather trend up now. It's already happening since the end of June. And as such, even though the stablecoin market cap is going up, stablecoins as a fraction of all of crypto is going down. People only hold their stablecoins temporarily when they don't want to get exposure to that altcoin market. In case you're not part yet of Telegram, there's a link down below. I publish videos regularly, so feel free to subscribe. A like would be very much appreciated as well. It will help the channel grow.